Hallelujah, hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad, so glad to be a part of and rejoice in it each and every day. Yes, I am, my brother. Yes, I am, my sisters. I don't know about you, but every day is a day of praising Jesus. I don't know about you, but every day is a day to always seek and to always trust and to always to say, you know what, I'm still taking another chance out on faith each and every day. And even, even though I don't see anything happening right now today, and even though that my situation is still looking the same, and even though I haven't seen any, I haven't seen any progress, but I'm still taking that chance out on faith. I am still trusting you. I am still counting on you. I'm still depending on you. I still say, Jesus, you got, you have all full authority over my life, over my dreams, over my mistakes, or whatever it is that you have full authority. But right now, today, Jesus. I'm still taking a chance out on faith every day. And I'm still taking, I'm still trusting you. One thing I know for sure, my brothers, my sisters, whenever that you're taking a chance out on faith every day and you still trust in Jesus, there's no way that he's going to leave you hanging. There's no way that he's going to leave you stranded because you're counting, you're depending, you're trusting him. Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.11 says he will never disown himself even though some of, some of us are faithless. Or some of you won't have nothing but a little bit of faith. As long as you'll continue to walk out on faith, and as long as you'll trust in him, he got you in the palm of his hands. He's he going to make sure that you're going to get what exactly what he's promised to you and what he's going to bring to you. So no matter what it looks like right now today, my sisters and my brothers, you continue to walk out on faith, you continue to trust him, you continue to seek him, you continue to praise him, you continue to give him the glory each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus, no matter what it looks like. Continue to praise him. Praise is an everyday thing because when you praise him, Jesus, Jesus knows you praise him from the lips or you praise him from the heart. But when you praise him from the heart, he already knows that he can count, depend, and trust on you. He already knows that you really trust in him or not. My brothers, my sisters, what I'm saying is praise is necessary. Praise is an everyday thing. Praise is not an on and off switch thing. Praise is not a seasonal thing. Praise is an everyday thing. Always praise him. Don't praise him because you want something. Don't praise him because you're in need of anything. You want to praise him for who he is. You want to praise him for what he has done. Because if it wasn't for Jesus, you wouldn't be here right now today. Look what he has done in every last one of our life. Then he paid the ultimate price for every last one of us. Then he carried that cross for every last one of us. Then he downed that cross for every last one of us. Then he carried every last one of our sins on his back. Yes, he did. So praise is necessary. Praise is necessary. Yes, it is. Always praise him because he is worthy to be praised. Glory. Hallelujah. And it's another beautiful blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. And I want to say thank you, my brothers. I want to say thank you, my sisters, for always taking the time out out of y'all guys' busy schedule to always listen to another word and another message from my Heavenly Father God. Minister LT want to let you know how thankful I am for y'all, how grateful I am for y'all, how honored, how blessed. If it wasn't for y'all guys, this ministry would not be going on the way it's going on. So I want to let you know how thankful I am, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am out of every last one of y'all. And I know for a fact that Jesus is doing a new thing and a great thing in every last one of you guys' life. Isaiah 43, 18, that he's doing something new in your life for being faithful, for being obedient, for being good servants. Y'all guys can listen to any other ministry. Y'all could have been watching anything else on TV. Y'all could have been doing anything else, but y'all guys take the time out to listen to another word and another message. Thank y'all for being faithful. Thank y'all for being obedient. And thank y'all for allowing me to be y'all minister. Thank y'all so much. Minister L2, let you know how thankful, how grateful, how honored and blessed I am that y'all guys are my life, that I am in y'all life. God bless you, my brothers, and God bless you, my sisters. God is awesome. He is amazing. And he is doing something new in every last one of you guys' life. Get ready to receive your blessing. Get ready to receive open doors. Get ready to receive deliverance in y'all life for being faithful. Amen? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Glory, hallelujah. My brothers, my sisters, I don't know about you, but I love thanking him. I love praising him. I love glorifying him. Oh, my God. Just when I'm at work or when I'm at home, I just feel the presence of the Lord is everywhere that's around me. I feel the presence of the Lord every 
I know that the presence of the Lord is around you right now today, my brothers. I know for a fact that the presence of the Lord is around you right now today, my sisters. And when you know that the presence of the Lord is around, you know that he's moving, that you know that he's doing something good in your life. You can just, you can just feel his warmth. You can just feel his love. You can just feel his connection all over you right now today. And I know for a fact that he's over you right now today, my brothers and my sisters, for y'all being obedient, that y'all being faithful to, the, for, to his ministry. And I just want to let you know how thankful and thankful, thankful I am. I can't thank y'all guys enough. I'm always going to let y'all guys know how thankful I am. How great and how honored and blessed I am. Amen. Amen. And today is the day. Is there anybody out there right now today that's really, really ready to give their life to Christ right now today? And if you're really, really ready to give your life to Christ right now today, do not be shy. Do not be worrying about who's looking at you, what they might think or say about you today. All you got to do right now today is head to the altar right now today. All you got to do is head to the room right now today. It's a lot of people who's shy. But look at them now. They fight for their life in the hospital right now today. There's a lot of people that were shy or worried about what people might think or say about them right now today. But they dead and gone right now today. My point is, tomorrow's not promised to nobody. Next week is not promised to nobody. Next month is not promised to nobody. Next year is not promised to nobody. Right now, you have a chance of your lifetime. Right now, you have an opportunity right now today. And if you want Jesus to be in your life right now, you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior Christ, Head to that altar right now today. Head to that room right now today and get in your knees. And all you got to say is today, Lord Jesus, I'm asking you to come into my life to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that right then and there, you are saved, you are born again. You have just accepted the Holy Spirit in your life right now. And I believe somewhere around the world that my brothers and my sisters, you have just accepted Jesus in your life. You have just accepted the Holy Spirit. And the same thing goes for you, my every boy and every girl god is good all the time and all the time god is good give him the thanks right now give him the praise right now give him the glory right now oh even father god i'm praying for healing for my brothers and my sisters right now today i'm praying for deliverance for him right now today i'm praying for overflow for him right now today i'm praying for opportunities right now today for him. i'm praying for blessing i'm praying for healing i'm praying for anointing i'm praying for deliverance i'm praying for prosperity for every last one of my brothers and my sisters right now and whatever they're going through right now today whatever they're facing with right now today jesus i'm asking your mighty holy name right now today to reach your righteous right hand right now today and protect them and lift them up in the time they need right now today i'm asking you to do something new in every last one of my brothers and my sisters life right now today i'm praying for victory over every last one of my brothers and my sisters because today they are victory and they are victorious today in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to speak a new word in my brothers and my sisters' life right now today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to guide them right now today. I'm asking you to direct them right now today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to do something new in their house and their life right now today. As we pray and as we end this prayer, Jesus, we love you, we are counting on you, and we are depending on you. In Jesus' glory and holy mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my sisters, my brothers. I have another, another amazing word today. And this message today is going to move somebody's socks off their feet right now today. And we're going to be reading from the book of Mark 10, verse 28. Jesus hasn't forgotten about you. He hasn't left you out. Even though it seems like that you've been left out. And I know some of you, you're concerned about the situation because there's a disciple who was also discerned concerned about the same situation. And Jesus had to tell him, I ain't left you out. So if he ain't left this disciple out, he's telling you right now today, he haven't left you out at all. You, if you only imagine what's about to come your way, this message today is about to blow your mind. Amen? Amen. Get ready to receive it. Because I, I received because it blew my mind this morning. Because I've been praying, I've been praying, and I just remember going downstairs this morning. I said, baby, you know what? I said, Jesus, just answer my prayer. But what did he say? See, sometimes we always expect Jesus to answer us the way that we want to hear answered. And sometimes the answer is right there in the Bible. See, he speaks to us in all different types of ways. Sometimes we be, want, we be expecting Jesus just to speak to us physically so we can hear with our ears. But no, he said, if you really want to hear what your answer is, Open up the Bible. Sometimes, most of your answers of what you're asking for, what you're praying for, is right there in the sword. So if you open your sword up, then the answer what you're asking God for is right there. 
And that's how I received my answer this morning. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And before we get to today's word today, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day in life today. I can't think of our health. I can't think of our strength. I can't think of what you have done, what you're doing in our life. I can't think of the miracles. I can't think of the blessing. I can't think of the anointing. I can't think of the deliverance. I can't think of the open doors. I can't think of the doors that you have closed. I can't think of our healing. I can't think of the opportunity. I can't think of the second chance. I can't think of our health. I can't think of our strength. I just can't think of, I can't thank you enough. Thank you enough because you're doing a new thing in every last one of my brothers and my sisters' life today. I just can't thank enough for the rain. I can't thank enough for the food that you put on that table, the clothes and shoes on that back. I can't thank enough for the strength. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always walking out on faith because I can't I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always counting depending on you because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just 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 can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, I would love for y'all to turn your Bible to Mark chapter 10. And we're going to read verses 28 through 30. And if you have your Bibles open and are ready to receive this word today, let the church say amen. Amen. It's Mark 10, 28, and we're going to read verse 30. And if you're ready, shout out amen. Glory. Peter said to him, we have left everything to follow you. I tell you the truth, Jesus replied, no one who has left home or brother or sister or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in the present age. Homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and fields, and with them persecution and in the age to come eternal life but many who are first will be last and in the last first. So my point is, Jesus hasn't left you out, my brothers. My point is, Jesus hasn't left you out, my sisters. And I know right now, some of you right now are concerned right now because you have left homes. You have left mothers. You have left fathers. You have left brothers and sisters and jobs and fields just to follow Jesus in the gospel. And right now, you're concerned just like Peter. Jesus, I have left everything behind, but yet I haven't seen anything yet. I have left everything behind, and yet, well, I'm going to. Well, you guide me to. Well, you're directing me to. But one thing before I get into this word, when he said receive a hundred times fold, Jesus is not talking about money at all. No word he's talking about money. He said whatever that you lost, whatever that you left behind me, he said that you will receive a hundred times what you lost. So if you lost a job, receive that you're going to receive a hundred more jobs. If you lost a house, that you're going to receive a hundred more houses. If you lost a car, that you're going to receive a hundred more cars. If you left a brother, that you're going to receive a hundred more brothers. If you left a sister, that you're going to receive a hundred more sisters. That was God is saying to you right now today that he haven't left you out and that you will receive a hundred times for. He said nobody. He said nobody who had left Everything behind just to follow him and trust him on the gospel where he fail you, where he disappoint you or let you down. He's telling you and he's giving his word and he's giving his promise. But you can count on his words that you can count on his promise. He said that you will receive a hundred times fold. So right now, my brothers, my sisters, Jesus has not forgotten about you. Right now, my brothers, my sisters, Jesus has not left you. Right now, you're walking around with a hundred times fold. Right now, you're sleeping on a 
hundred times fold. Right now, you are beside a hundred times fold. You might not see the hundred houses yet, but you have a hundred houses already in store. You might not see the jobs right now, but you have a hundred jobs right now that's already open with your name on it right now. You might not see your brothers right now, but you have a hundred brothers that's in line who ready to be your brother right now. You might not see your sisters right now, but you have a hundred sisters right now that ready to be your sisters right now. You might not see your mother right now, you but you have a hundred mother figures right now that really want to be your mother right now. You might not see your father right now, but you have a hundred father figures right now that ready to be your father right now. And that what Jesus is saying right now today that you will receive a hundred times fold. Then I like the last third of one. It said, but many who are first will be last and the last will be first. Even though that you are last at where you at right now today, you ain't always going to be last. You're going to have your chance. You're going to have your opportunity. Because why you're going to have your chance and why you're going to have your opportunity is because you left everything behind just to follow and trust Jesus in the gospel. And once you left everything just to follow him and trust him, you might seem like you last right now today. It might seem like you last right now this minute or at this moment. But sooner than later, you will be first according to the word of God. Well, that's why he said that you will receive a hundred times fold. And right now, that was my question that I was concerned about. Because all of this, like Peter, I was concerned. And that's how Jesus answered my prayer to me this morning. That's how Jesus answered my prayer. I said, you know what? I've been, I've been down here in Georgia for almost seven years. And I said, I left everybody behind back then in Charlotte. I said, but yeah, I, re I haven't seen anything yet. But yet, I'm still following Jesus. Yet, I'm still trusting him. Yes, I'm still committed to him. Yes, I'm still dedicated to him. But yet, I haven't seen anything yet. So the Holy Spirit just tapped me on the show and said, AFT, I need mean, you to turn the mark. So as I was turning the mark, I said, okay, well, Holy Spirit, which was chapter that I need to turn the mark? He said, you'll know it when you see it. The Holy Spirit told me, he said, you'll know it when you see it. So as I was flipping, it stopped right there on 10. The Holy Spirit said, I need you to read down right there at 28. Read it. So as I started reading it, I said, glory, hallelujah. Didn't even realize that everything that I lost back home or left behind back home, Jesus has already informed me that I will receive a hundred times fold. He already informed me that he hasn't left me out. He already informed me that he forgot about me. He already informed me you might seem like you last, but I guarantee you're going to have your chance that you're going to have your opportunity. And once that you are first, you're going to stay first because you chose to leave everything behind to follow Jesus, to trust him in the gospel. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I don't know who this word for right now today, but I'm telling you right now, according to the word of God, Jesus is telling you right now today, he know that you concerned like Peter. He said that you are not left out. He's telling you right now today, he hasn't forgotten about you. He's letting you know right now today that you already received your hundred times fold. You might not see it right now today, but you have a hundred times fold in store for you. You have a hundred times blessings that's right there for you. You have a hundred blessings that's right there for you. You have a hundred doors that's open for you. It said that you lost anything. Time that by 100. So if you lost one brother, time that one brother by 100. If you lost one job, time that by 100. If you lost one sister, time that by 100. If you lost one house, time that by 100. If you left one business, time that 100. If you left one church, time that 100. You are receiving your 100 times for God is good all the time and all the time God is good. He ain't forgotten about you and he ain't left you out. That's why Peter was concerned. So when Jesus replied to that, Peter couldn't say nothing else. Just like when I replied to it, I couldn't say nothing else because he said, I know that you was concerned about that, LT. He said, I know that you were concerned about that, my son. He said, I know that you were concerned about that, my sister, because y'all been on this journey for quite some time and yet that you haven't seen anything. And yet, so if you know if Peter was concerned about it and I was concerned about it, I know for a fact that you was concerned about it, my brothers and my sisters, because Luca was concerned about it first. Peter was sick before we was, was. Peter was a disciple before we were a disciple. Peter left everything behind before we left everything behind. So if he was concerned, I know that you was concerned. But Jesus said, he ain't left you out yet. He ain't forgot about you. You will receive your hundredfold. Time 100. The first should be last. 
but the last should be first. My brothers, my sisters, you about to be first. I'm going to say that again. My sisters, my brothers, you are about to be first because Jesus has not left you out of your hundred time fold. He has not left you out of your blessing. He has not left you out of your anointing. He has not left you out of your deliverance. He has not left you out of your breakthrough. He has not left you out of your blessing. He has not left you out of your opportunity. You will be first. You will have your chance. You will have your opportunity. And when you get your chance, and when you get your opportunity, because you left everything behind just to follow him, and because you left everything behind just to trust him and follow his gospel, you will be first, and you will remain first, and you will stay first. Do you believe it? And if you believe it today, and if you receive it today, I want you to give Jesus the thanks right now today. I want you to give him the glory right now today. I want you to give him a round, round shout of praise right now today. Glory, thank you, Jesus, for not leaving me alone. Thank you, Jesus, for not leaving me out. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Glory, hallelujah. I said, thank you, Jesus. He ain't left you out. He ain't forgot about you. You ain't got to wait too much longer because you will be first. You had to wait too much long because you will get your chance. You had to wait too much long that you will have your opportunity. And Jesus going to make sure that you stay first. He's going to make sure that you stay right there. I don't know about you. Jesus is our everything. Glory! Hallelujah! Yes, he is. Amen. Before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray to me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. Always glorify him. Just to know for a fact, you're going to receive your 100 times fold. Whatever that you left behind for him, he said, time is about 100. Whatever that you left behind him is to follow him and to trust him in this gospel. He said, time that by 100. That's your 100 times fold that you will receive. That's a promise that he's telling you right now, my brothers. That's a promise what he's telling you right now today, my sisters, that you will receive it. It's already yours. And he's telling you, you might be last right now, but you will have your opportunity. Your chance is going to come. And he said that you will be first and you're going to stay first and you're going to remain first because you follow him, because you trust him. Give him the praise and glory right now today. This man said unto you, I love y'all. Stay blessed in Jesus. Holy mighty name. Amen. God bless you.